Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech reviewer. Back with another video today. Today's video, yes, I have another quick tip video for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take your screenshot with your Galaxy S10 Plus or your Galaxy S10 or even your Galaxy S10e. These steps will work with either phone. So whatever phone you decide to pick up, follow these steps and you will be able to take a screenshot. Please let me know in the comments below on what device you decide to pick up and why. We can definitely get a discussion going. Now there are four different ways you can take a screenshot on your Galaxy S10 Plus and I'm gonna get into that right now. The first way you can take a screenshot is the traditional way. So say you're in Google feeds and you wanna take a screenshot of this. All you need to do is hold down the power and the volume down button. Bam, you take a screenshot. Down here, you get different options. If you want to take a scrolling screenshot, you can definitely do so. If you want to write on the screenshot, so you want to write BAM. There you go, you can write BAM. After that, you can save it or you can share it. Whatever you want to do, you took a screenshot. That was the easiest way of doing it. The second way you can take a screenshot is actually using Bigsby. She's pretty cool. She will take the screenshot for you. All you need to do is wake her up. Hi, Bigsby. Take a screenshot. Bam, she takes a screenshot. So you had the same options down here. You can write on it. If you want to check it out, you can do that too. And you can actually share it to Instagram if you like. If you like. That was the second way of doing it. The third way is a little bit more involved. I'm going to get to that right now. So say you're in here and you want to take a screenshot. You can actually use the palm to swipe. So if I want to take a screenshot, all I need to do is this. And it took a screenshot. Same thing, I had the same options. If I want to keep on scrolling, you can definitely do so. The way you set that up and make sure that you have that activated, is you go into your settings, you want to find advanced features, you want to go into motions and gestures. It's at the almost second to the bottom one, palm swipe to capture. It shows you you can go left to right or right to left. It also says this gesture cannot be used while the keyboard is shown. So if you're trying to type something in the in Twitter or group me, wherever you're trying to type it, you have to make sure the keyboard is not active or you won't be able to use this step. Now in the last way, it's number four. If you have your edge panel set up, you can actually use your panels to take the screenshot. And what I mean is if you swipe here, you have smart select that you can actually use. If you don't have that set up, you just go into the settings on the edge panel, look for this panel, make sure you have it set up. Now, if you don't use the edge panel, that's okay. Just use the first three steps that I showed you. But if you have it set up correctly, you can actually go into rectangle and you can crop wherever you want to. So if I want to take a picture here, if I want to do it, you know, longer, it gives you more control on where you want to take a screenshot at. You can actually do, if I hit done, Bam, you have different options here too. Now, if I want to say extract the text and it will tell me just the Play Store, Google, social media, I can copy it and post it wherever I wanted to. Okay, everyone, that was the four steps that you can take a screenshot using your new Galaxy S10 Plus. Let me know in the comments on which way you prefer taking the screenshot, which one was your favorite. If this video taught you anything, or if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so for more coverage on the Galaxy S10 Plus. And until next time, peace, I'm out of here. You have a great day now.